Hello again and welcome to the very first part in our administration dashboard section. So to begin with this, we want to create in our project directory a new directory and let's call this admin. Like that, all right? Now in your admin directory, create a new file and let's call this admin.py. Like that, all right? And we will create the basic structure for our application. So this is the snippet I added in Visual Studio Code. As always, you can type these in by hand. All right. So I'll call these admin like that. And now let's create the KV file. So in still in your admin directory, create another file. And remember, we call it the same name as our app class. All right. So admin and dot kv first things first let's define the root widget so the root widget is going to be yep admin window simple enough now let's give this an id of main underscore win orientation vertical all right Fair enough, let's change the background to canvas double four and color RGBA format and we want this to be white. Rectangle and with this rectangle we want the size to be equal to self dot size position equal to self dot position. All right. Now let's create the top bar that we see on our admin screen. All right. So to do that, start with the box layout. Give it an ID of top underscore nav. No orientation for this, but we do want the size hint y to be none, the height to be 30. Yep, I think 30 worked great. Now let's change the background. So copy this, paste it down here. And we also want to make sure we are indenting correctly. All right, change this to teal. So it's 0 0.06, 0 0.45, 0 0.45. All right, that is done. Now let's create the drop down menu, which has file and essentially close. Right. So create a drop down. We'll start with a button. Button has an ID. Of file underscore trigger and the text is going to be file all right and size do we need a size I don't think we do so let's skip that for now and simply go with the on release event so if this button is released we want to trigger the file drop down so file drop down dot open self. And now inside our button, we want to create a widget and on parent. So if we click outside this button, so if we click our window, basically we want to say file drop down dot dismiss. So what this is doing is if we click our button, our drop down is shown if we click outside that button. If we click outside our drop down, sorry, then our drop down is closed. Now, this drop down has an ID of file drop down. All right, drop down. And let's create the buttons. So, the button for this is going to be, let's say, ID and for now, I think we can get away with just having a close button, all right? So ID is, whoops, close. The text 
is going to be quit. And finally, the size underscore hint y is going to be none. Close this real quick. And the height of this is going to be 30. That is done. Now we have a function in drop down. So that is done. Now we can simply create our label. Label and the ID. We don't need an ID for this, but we do need the text, and the text is going to be admin dashboard. Simple enough. Bold, yep, it should be bold. So bold is true. Like that, and I believe we are almost done. Next thing we need to do is give this button a size hint. A size hint and it's going to take about 1% of the x-axis and for y we want a static height of 30. Simple enough, copy this, paste it on our label, down here, change this to 0.9, control S to save this, let's try it down here. So Python 3 and admin, oops, admin.py, run this. And admin is inside the admin folder. Run it again. And we get our label and our drop down. All right. So we are going to stop here for this one. In the next one, we are going to turn this into a flat button and start adding other stuff all right so hope to catch you then any questions comments like dislikes leave them in the question section down below otherwise i'll catch you in the next one